Trey Waters is a senior at St. James High School who enjoys softball and working with computers. And he has autism, the developmental disorder that affects language, behavior, and social skills. But he wants people to know his autism does not define him. Yeah, I can live with it. It's my life. Trey joined advocates with SOS Healthcare, a local nonprofit clinic, at a booth in Merle's Inlet Monday to spread awareness about dealing with autism. Sarah Pope already knows. Her two autistic sons, Ben and Liam, have been working with therapists for years to gradually move up the stepping block to productive lives. We break down everything into tiny increments of learning, use high reinforcement, and we teach them all of the things that they would need to know that change their behavior, their social skills, and their language. Because of Trey, his brother Dylan Waters was inspired to become a therapist and work with other autistic children. He says it is challenging because it may take years of work to see progress in a child. And you think, oh, he's nonverbal. It'll never be verbal. But, you know, when you think about like five years, ten years from now, you got to think of small increments. You know, how, where, where will he be in the future? Dylan Waters says the sky's the limit for his brother, maybe a career working in graphic design. Trey has a message for the rest of us about how we should treat those with autism. We do not mean to act differently or act out with tantrums and stuff. The experience, they experience life differently. Please accept them and love them.